Come up with something funny to say. Stupidity, stupidity, thy name is Corbin Miles. Hey, welcome back to our stupid race. It's Dina Sopor. I'm Ashley. I'm Richard Robert Siegel the Third. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so juicy. Uh, and <laughs> today we are reacting to a little video. Somebody uh, sent Just a little bit. A little video. It's from India Times, but it's Women of the Indian Armed Forces. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, Glad you're here for this one, Ash. Love. Me too. Love the military. Love the women. I love the combination. I love the military and I love women, so you put them together. And, <laughs> and you put them together and they got badass women. Military. Military people. <laughs> well said, Corbin. Mark. Thank you. I'm, uh, I'm a Shakespearean poet. Uh, but yes, I uh, don't really know what it's about, but I'm hoping it's just going to be. I bet it's about women in the Indian. Probably, but I'm saying more specifically. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know why people think that uh, women are not cut out for it, but I don't believe so. If a lady can become Sexist. the president of India, of course she can be a fighter pilot, and that's what I believe. Heck yeah, she can. This is one service that instills a sense of pride. It allows us to serve our motherland with pride. And this is one thing that I would take up any day over any other subject or any other service. No. I'm an officer first, the gender comes later. Similarly, uh, right from the beginning, there have never been discrimination based on the gender that is done either on the training uh, point of view or later when the systems are allotted to you. I would say that uh, after the education completes, everybody looks for a job. I would not say that uh, defending the country is a job, it is a passion in itself. In it is not about the gender here, it is about the ranks what you hold. Women officers are equally capable as male officers are. They are equally capable and potent enough to take up any operation whatsoever the nation has to offer. And uh, just to prove it, uh, Indian Air Force has recently inducted the lady officers in the fighter scene, the only stream in which lady officers were not there before. As compared to all the walks of life, women here also have played a big role. This last part, which passed out with three women officers as combat fighter pilots. It's a very satisfying uh, place to serve it. मेरे पापा भी फोर्स में हैं तो ऑब्वियसली है कि फैमिली भी मतलब जानती है कि फोर्स करने से क्या होता है क्या ड्यूटीज होती है तो मेरी फैमिली ने भी प्राउड फील किया कि मेरा भी सिलेक्शन बीएसएफ में हुआ है Flying has always been a dream for me since childhood so this is a a dream come true I could tell you Aww Sorry I thought it was mostly in English My apologies uh, nothing against obviously that. That's, 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 no, that's, that's our fault. We didn't. It happens. We don't speak it. That's, nope. our, that's, that's our problem. Yep. <laughs> but man. Mm. Um, you know what makes me mad? Tell 
Tell me. I know many things that make you yeah. mad, Corbin. That's true. <laughs> what are you thinking of at this moment, though? If somebody punches me in the nards. That makes me really mad. Me too. Really really upsets me. No, but, um, and I'm sure it, but even since I, which is crazy to think that it was in my lifetime, that here in America, women weren't right in your lifetime allowed to women were fight in fight. combat. Right. What? <laughs> what? In my lifetime. I'm yeah. not that old. It, regardless of how I look. I'm not that old. That's uh, true. And so it, 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 it's, that seems to me something that should have been sorted out way well, before I was yeah. born. Uh, <laughs> like when you were a kid in the 40s. You, you would think. But what's extraordinary is how we're not too far removed, especially in the span of human history. Women have, for the majority of human history, been treated like garbage by men and still and are true. and in, in current many history. respect many, yeah. yeah and in current history still are having to deal with a lot of crap they shouldn't have to deal with and it is really encouraging and we've obviously known by some of the historical things you've seen india has been way ahead of the curve mm -hmm. in that regard of uh, women being involved in in certain things so mm -hmm. yeah it's uh i'm looking forward to the day that I hear about the first woman Navy SEAL. That's going to make me really, really happy. Are they not have one yet? No, <laughs> and it's just because I think they've actually let some women apply. And it's it's just a matter of there hasn't been a woman yet that has gotten through. Uh, to, get, like, to get, yeah. It's a lot of physical. I'm, I'm hoping it's for the right reasons. It is. Yeah. Right. Let's be honest. I mean, most, most, <clears throat> the majority of men don't get through BUDS training. That's true. You, you, you only it's get not very, easy. No, it's a very, very small percentage that actually survive BUDS training. So uh, there'll be women who do it. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of stuff about the India and most armies that, uh, and, and armed forces that are of peaceful nations, uh, that I appreciate. But some of the stuff that we've learned about the, and not just female parts, but like for what we learned about Sikhs in the U.S. military. Yeah. That they made Sikhs take off their turban and shave. And cut their hair and their beards. Just until recently. Mm -hmm. uh, Thanks to that one hero we've got yeah. to focus on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which is redonkulous. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. To make somebody do that just to make a point. Yeah. Uh, but anyways. You're like, ooh. Uh, it hurt to watch that. Oh no! This is the and this will be actually the first year um, on Republic Day because they always do a Republic Day parade mm -hmm. in India every mm -hmm. single year. Uh, that will actually we did we reacted to it last year, but I think it was like a month after Republic Day. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I think you're because right. we did what Gully Boy the Fourteenth mm -hmm. and Republic Day is what the twenty fourth, twenty sixth, or something around yeah. there. And <laughs> so we were not that educated to know. When Republic Day was coming up, ten days after reacting to the first Indian trailer we've ever seen in our life, yeah, uh, you know, <laughs> and so this will be the first Republic Day we were able to celebrate with you guys, yeah, and, and kind of know what's happening, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I would uh, had I've thought about this before in, in terms of you say you support you know women in the military. If if either you or Alexis had said you wanted to join the military, that I would have been very proud. Mm -hmm. That would that would have made me really really proud. Not that I'm not proud of you. I'm saying. That. <laughs> Ashley, you know what would make me proud of you since you know, you're such yeah. a disappointment. Yeah, exactly. I've always wanted to tell you, there's nothing you could have done to impress me other than join the military. You didn't and you failed. You didn't give me what I wanted for Christmas, and I, let me tell you what I want. Right. Join the no, military. No, I, I would be, be very, very... Any, It shouldn't be an issue of gender. And yeah. It really shouldn't. It shouldn't be. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff going on with our military that... Yeah, I'm not happy, happy with, and it isn't, and it isn't just women serving in the military. No. Yeah, it's the other people as well. Transgenders. Yeah, because that makes you incapable of serving. God, mother, this is not the point of this video. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, get over I'm here. I'm sorry. I almost, I considered almost joining the because my dad's been Coast Guard his whole life, and so I, I considered it out of high school mm. uh, for a little while. It's, I actually considered it for uh, a little while, too, yeah. but not out of high school. Yeah, I remember mean, you said 9-11, you know, yeah. 9-11, the mm -hmm. only reason I struggled, mm -hmm. and the only reason I didn't was be because of the kids. And But if if I hadn't had kids, I'd have gone in without question. 9-11 was because my dad was ser still serving at that time. Um, and But he, right after that, they employed a bunch of air marshals. Mm. And so right after 9-11, he was put into a air marshal role. Mm. And so he was on thousands of planes mm -hmm. just just there to 
handle protect things after 9 11 because the yeah. Sec yeah. security was so high right, right. at that point, and so it was a scary time. I remember I didn't, I was a kid, so I didn't Ooh. really recognize what was going on. <laughs> but yeah, he was, uh, <laughs> it was an intense time. But yes, if there's more videos like this from we the military, them. female empowerment, whatever. I'd love to see women in basic. I'd mm. love to see, I'd love to like see. Like women. women basic training? Yeah, like I'd love to see women going through basic. I would love to see some like documentary that, because they've done this with the Marines and everybody where you follow them through training and watch them graduate. I would love to see something that features women from the moment they en are enlisted to the moment they actually graduate and they're full-blown soldiers and what that would be like to watch them on that journey, that yeah. would be awesome. That would be awesome. Let us know.